Hi, I'm Patrick Risley, co-pastor here at First Presbyterian Church, Fort Lauderdale, and welcome to our sneak peek, where we take a look at what's coming up in worship this coming weekend. Well, this Sunday, we will celebrate Newman Society Sunday, and we're going to offer prayers of thanks for the members who are a part of this very special group. Lou and Mary Helen Merchant will share with us what it means to be a part of the Newman Society for them. And they will also share how you can be a part of the Newman Society yourself. Now, we are also celebrating communion this Sunday. So if you are watching on live stream or Facebook, be sure to get your communion elements ready at home so you can participate with the gathered community. Now, some of you have inquired as to when we're going to go back and return to the old way of doing uh, communion uh, by either intinction where we dip the bread into the cup or passing the uncovered elements up and down the pews. Well, your worship team has had thoughtful discussion uh, just about this issue and feels that until the latest burst of COVID dies down and the flu shows that it's continuing to abate, we will continue using our prepackaged cups. You see, we want to return to the old ways as soon as we can, but we want to ensure that it's done when there is a minimal risk of exposure. My friends, as you prepare for this Sunday, I encourage you strongly to soak yourself in three of the lectionary texts that we are uh, going to be uh, looking at. First, take some time praying Psalm 112, verses 1 through 9. What do these words remind you of? Have you heard them before? The Hebrew text is from Isaiah 58, verses 1 through 9, and I want you to discover the obvious essence of what Isaiah is trying to get across. And then I want you to hold that up against my preaching text from Matthew 5, 13 to 20. What do we learn? Friends, bring someone with you this Sunday as you come to church. Let's be the Andrew that we talked about some few weeks ago. I can't wait to see you. Blessings on your head.